Hello guys, Dupin one here, and today um, I'm taking apart this Poland 1800 Wood Shark, and you'll know why here in just a few minutes. The reason why I am taking this apart, like I said, it's the Poland Wood Shark 1800, and it's the little small job, and I'll show you guys why. You guys are probably wondering why I did that, right? If you look right down in there, if you look right down in there, piston cylinder rings scored. It still starts up, but only for a few seconds and then it'll die. See, it won't start up anymore. Everything's good on it, but the, the piston cylinder and rings. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. Taking that apart. So, yeah. Just sit back and enjoy me taking it apart. This thing has low compression too. Look, I can hold this and pull it out with my two fingers. Very bad compression. So what we're doing today here is just taking the piston cylinder and rings off so we can take a better look at it. I would say this thing's never been taken apart before. There's the carburetor, Walbro carburetor. As you can see, it's a Walbro carburetor. This is a Poland 1800, just telling you guys that again. We're gonna flip her over. First, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna leave the throttle linkage and everything together. And I'm gonna pop this little screw out here. Just so I can uh, access the fuel line, so I can pull that off. Because I don't want that fuel line anymore. It's stiff as a rock. And then if I ever find a part saw of one of these, I'll have a lot of parts for it, so we can get her going. This summer, once I get a job, I'll start buying a lot of stuff up, so...
bearings look good down in there. Just that piston ain't happy in there. So now we're going to pull off the recoil starter. Pop this recoil starter off here. Pop the oil cap off. Thank goodness it doesn't have very much oil in it. Yeah, I can tell none of this has been taken apart before. Because these screws are kind of hard to get off. And this is the first time, so this will be uh, pretty much how to take your piston cylinder rings off of your Pulling 1800 I'm just saying this is my first time doing it too never taking any of this stuff off of this here's the gas tank this gas tank should just pop right on out of here and you got your pulling 1800 gas tank Here's your little, this is pretty much the engine. Now you want to take your T20, no, T26, it's a lot bigger. Let's see here, give me a T27 out of here. It's only held on by two screws, so we're about to find out the magic here. Move all this out of the way. So we have to move the camera down here. Take the ignition coal off here. Sorry, I'm taking a long time, but keep my head out the way. What I'm trying to do here is, is take the spark area the where the switch is, take that off so I can get to it here. And then for the moment of truth, we're going to bring the camera down here so you guys can see here. I'm going to zoom it out. We're going to lift up on this camera here. 
when I pull this off, we'll see what we got going on here. And there's a, ooh, real rough down in there, look. I don't know if you guys can completely see it. But down in there, it's really rough. Especially right down in here, it's real rough. I don't know if you guys can see the scoring. It's real rough. Base gasket is, you know, toast now. But we're not worried about this. And this right here, my friends, is your scored piston. If you look at that, you can just see all that rough, rough, nasty stuff on it. Take the ring off here real quick. And I'll show you guys what the ring looks like. It's surprisingly not. The ring is surprisingly okay. okay. I mean, it's, the, it's, it's not stuck yet. So that's why it had somewhat good compression, and that's why it was still starting, because the ring hasn't hadn't fully started yet, but it is most definitely starting to score. Now we're going to go in here, and we're going to pull this piston off. There's a little circ clip. You just pop that circ clip out. If we can get a hold of it here. see here if I can get a hold of it. Nah, that thing ain't gonna come out. I'm not gonna ruin my knife or anything. But, yeah, that's what the piston looks like. It's got a lot of carbon on the top of it. But that's usually normal, especially if you run a lot more oil in your saws. Um... Well, that's how you uh, take your cylinder piston rings um, apart. That's how you take it all apart. And yes, I'm leaking a lot of oil. I'm going to clean all this up so we'll have room for more stuff in the workspace. But anyways, that is how you take your piston cylinder rings off your Poland 1800 Wood Shark. And um, the way that this piston is, there's no honing any of this out. It's too bad. Now the cylinder could possibly be saved. It's real smooth up in there at the top part. And then where the exhaust port is, it's a little rough. You might be able to hone a little bit of it out and maybe put a new piston, new ring. But the way this piston is, there's no saving it. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Especially subscribe to me. Because I definitely have more videos coming on, my, on the way. No, more how-to videos and some other things but if any of you guys are interested in any of these parts or um, I mean if you guys are have a Poland 1800 anywhere or a Poland 200 I mean 2000 and a Poland 1800 please let me know because I would probably buy it off of you even if it um, doesn't run and um, the piston cylinder rings are perfect so this was Dylan 591, um, another how-to video, how to take apart the Poland 1800. Um, so, alright guys, I guess that's it. So, talk to you later. Peace.